Accused of drunk driving and critically injuring a young woman goes before a judge today. That victim, 20-year-old Michaela Bores, was left in a coma for months after the near-fatal DUI crash back in February. The driver of the car who hit her alleged to have been late to pick up her kids, but stopping to pick up alcohol on her way. News 4's Dylan Brown gives us, joins us with the latest details at 6. Dylan. Yeah, thank you, Adria. We were there when it happened. The crash sending both to the hospital but only one is still in the hospital today. Michaela Borrego's family distraught as the alleged drunk driver, Sarah Polston, still walks free. Michaela Borrego, at 20 years old, can't walk, can't talk, and can't eat on her own. This after a near fatal crash in February in Norman. Sarah Polston, court documents show on her way to pick up her kids. Polston before a judge Friday for an arraignment on the drunk driving charge, a brief appearance inside Cleveland County Courthouse. But she's allegedly drove several times over the speed limit, running several stop signs before crashing into Borrego. An affidavit states Polston had half a bottle of alcohol in the back of her vehicle, her blood alcohol content allegedly twice the legal limit. This wasn't one decision. It was a series of bad decisions. It was drinking earlier in the day. It was making the decision to then leave and drive. It was making the decision to then blow five stop signs. Noble McIntyre represents Michaela. Imagine something happening to somebody that you love more than anybody in the world. And then seeing the person that caused that pain and that injury and that suffering out seemingly enjoying their life. Polston was arrested but bailed out of jail less than 24 hours later. Right now, she's walking. She's talking. She's communicating with her family. Now, Polston remains out on bond. Her next court date is set for August 22nd.